Hello everyone, let's continue doing questions from uh, Quantity Aptitude. Question number 9. The cost of 2 gold bars and 4 silver bars is uh, 46854. What is the cost of 5 gold bars and 10 silver bars? So we will assume the price of uh, gold bars as X and the price of silver bars as Y. So cost of 2 silver bars which means 2 into X plus 4 into Y for Y is equal to 4, 6, 8, 5, 4. The question is to find the cost of 5 gold bars which means 5X and 10 silver bars which means 10Y. This is the question. So we have got one equation and we have two variables X and Y which means you cannot calculate the value of X and Y. So remember that whenever you have two variables X and Y you need two equations to solve for the value of x and y all right so we don't have it here so if you look at the equation carefully you can find that you don't actually have to find the value of x and y but you only have to find the value of 5x plus 10y is it possible to get 5x plus 10y from equation number one so if you multiply equation number one with the 2.5 what will we get 5x plus 2.5 into 4 is 10 y is equal to 4, 6, 8, 5, 4 into 2.5. Instead of 2.5, let me write it as a 10 divided by 4. So that it's easier for me. It is 4, 6, 8, 5, 4. We cancel it by 4. 1, 1, 2, 8, 7, 1, 1, 4, 3, 2, 0, 5. So the final answer become 1, 1, 7, 1, 3, 5. So now we get the value of 5x plus 10y which is 117135 option B is the answer. I hope you understood this part instead of writing it as 2.5 which is a decimal I convert it into 10 by 4 which is 2.5 itself so that it is easier for me to find the answer. Question number 10 if the sum of 5 consecutive numbers is 280 which is the smallest of the numbers. So consecutive numbers means there is a difference of uh, 1 between each number. So let's imagine the first number to be x which means the next number is x plus 1, next is x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4 and yeah we got 5 numbers. So first number is x, second number is x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3 and the last number is x plus 4. So the question is sum of 5 consecutive numbers is 280. So we add up all these numbers plus 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 we get 280 as the answer 280. So there is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x, 5x plus 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10. 5x plus 10 is equal to 280. x is equal to 280 minus 10 divided by 5, which is 270 divided by 5, which become 5, 4, 54. So option A, 54 is the answer. So we took the smallest number as x and then we proceeded. We can also take the smallest number as x minus 2. Okay, so the next number will be x minus 1, x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. Which means when you add up these numbers, minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled, minus 1 and plus 1 get cancelled, you get 5x is equal to 280. x is equal to 56. The lowest number is x minus 2. So again, 54 is the answer. Question number 11, the difference between a two digit number and the number obtained after interchanging the two digits of the number is 27. The sum of the digits of the number is 11. What is the number? So there are a couple of ways in which we can solve the question. In the first method, let's look through the options and try to solve the question. The sum of the digits of the number is 11. So option A, 3 plus 8 is 11. Option B, 6 plus 5 is 11. 9 plus 2 is uh, 11. Option D, 7 plus 4 is 11. So all of this satisfies that condition. So now we go to the next condition which says when you interchange the number and you take the difference, the value is 27. So option A is uh, 38. When you interchange it, it becomes 83. If you find the difference, it is uh, 45. So that's not the answer. Then we come to the next one, 65. When you interchange it, it becomes 56. The difference is 11, which is again not the answer. We come to 92. We interchange it, it becomes 29. The difference is uh, 92 minus 30, 62, 63. So again, it's not 27. Last option, 74. When you interchange it, it becomes 47. You find the difference of the numbers, you get uh, 27. So option D is the answer. So what is the second method? Let's assume that the digits are X and Y. 
x is for a tens digit and y is for a units digit. So to form a number, you will have to multiply 10x plus y. This is the number in question. So according to the question, we interchange the digits. So it becomes 10y plus x. And the difference between the original number and the number which has been interchanged is 27. So you subtract it, you will get 10x plus y minus 10y minus x is equal to 27. So that becomes 9x minus 9y is equal to 27. You divide it by 9, you get x minus y is equal to 3. The second part of the question says the sum of digits of number is 11, which means x plus y is equal to 11. So to find the value of x and y, let's uh, add up the equations 1 and 2. You will get a 2x uh, plus 0 is equal to 40 x is equal to 7 now y x minus y is equal to 3 x is 7 so 7 minus y is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 so the actual number is uh, 10 into 7 plus 4 which becomes 74 so option d is the answer question number 12 five bells begin to ring together at intervals of 9 seconds 6 seconds 4 10 and 16 seconds respectively how many times will they ring all together in the span of one hour considering they take negligible time while ringing? So this is a basic question based on LCM least common multiple. So there are five bells in this question. Each of the bell ring after 9 seconds, 6 seconds, 4 seconds, 10 seconds and 16 seconds. So to find the time taken for all the bell to ring together we will have to find the LCM. So let's try to find the LCM of these five numbers just as we are taught in school. So for 6, 9, 10 and 16. So to find the LCM, 2 is common in most of the numbers. So let's divide by 2. We get a 2, 3 and it's not divisible. So we will write it as it is 5, 8. Again divide by 2. We get 1, 3, 9, 5. Only 8 is divisible. So we get 4. Again divide by 2. We get 1, 3, 9, 5, 2. Again divided by 2, we get 1, 3, 9, 5, 1. Now we divide the numbers by 3, we get 1, 1, 3, 5, 1. So if you look at the remaining numbers, we can see that we have reached the most simplest form. So, so even if we continue on, we will get 3 and 5, which is already here. So the LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5, which can be written as 2 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 2 into 5. 2 raised to 3 is 8, 2 raised to 4 is 16 into 3 raised to 9 into 5. So 16 into 9 is a 1, 4, 4 into 5. We get a 7, 20. The question here is of course to find the maximum number of times they will all ring together. So let's imagine that at the 0th second the bell will ring for the first time. 0th second. So at 0th second all the bell will ring together for the first time then after 720 seconds so 720th second it will ring again and at 1440th second it will ring again and so on. So, so the question is to find the maximum number of times all the bells will ring together in one hour. So in one hour there is a 60 minutes which means there is 60 into 60 seconds is equal to 3600 seconds. So for all the five bells to ring together, it takes 720 seconds, which means 3600, which is the total time divided by 720 will give you the number of times they will ring together. So this will give you 720 divided by 12, you get 6 divided by 12, you get 30615. So you get five number of times and you also have to add the zero second. So it becomes six. So option A, six is the answer.